Hi there. In this session, we are going to start a new chapter on numerical optimization using MATLAB. And as our first session in this chapter, we'll start with linear programming problems. And two kinds of them are considered in this session. The linear programming general problem, which can be solved by limprog function and the mixed integer linear programming which can be solved by int limprog function considering limprog we have another comprehensive video tutorial and therein we investigated the transportation problem and its general form and you may refer to that video tutorial if you want to get more information on limprog uh, okay let's start with the our first example assume that we are going to minimize this objective function two times x1 minus 5x2 subject to that x1 and x2 are in these ranges x1 is from 100 to 200 and x2 is from 50 to 150 and we have this constraint too the sum of these two variables must be less than or equal to 210 and that's it we defined a linear programming problem and now let's see what's the general form of a linear programming problem in matlab we have this general form minimizing f transpose of x f is a vector of coefficients x is a vector of unknown or decision variables subject to a a matrix times x less than or equal to b this is the set of our inequality constraints a is a matrix and b is a vector with appropriate size and for equality constraints a equal times x equal to b equal and a equal and b equal are also the matrices which are defining our equality constraints and finally we have this boundary constraints the lower bound of variables are given by a vector known as lb let's write this in this way and upper bounds are given by ub and we have these seven matrices and vectors which are defining a linear programming model and if you like you can find the value of f and other matrices here for example according to these values we have f equal to 2 and minus 5 and according to this we can define this as lb and this one as ub and this is an inequality constraint and we can define a as 1 and 1 the coefficients of these variables and b equals to 210 and because we don't have any equality constraints here then a equal and b equal are empty matrices okay we are done with finding matrices and let's define them inside matlab and so get the problem solved okay f is 2 minus 5 and lower bound for these two variables are 100 and 50 and upper bounds are 200 and 150 and considering the inequality constraints we have just one constraint here and a is 1 and 1 and b is 210 and we don't have any a equal and b equal so let's call the limprog function limprog function accepts the parameters in this order f a b we don't have any a equal matrix so we pass the empty matrix here and lb and ub and that's it let's run this command and we get this optimal solution found by the limprog function and that's the answer for our problem and let's see the limprog documentation if we like we can get the value of function the objective function as well as the solution so x is our solution and 
the function value is value of the objective function for the solution found by limpra and that's it we found the minus 350 for this problem okay let's try another example and for example assume that we have this solution maximizing x1 plus x2 divided by 3 and subject to x1 plus x2 is greater than and equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2 and x1 minus x2 is also given by these boundaries minus 2 to 2 and x1 plus x2 divided by 4 is less than or equal to 1 and x1 divided by 4 plus x2 is greater than minus 1. Here we have six constraints because these lines, the first two lines, are actually containing two constraints. One of them is this and one of them is this. And we must rewrite these equations, convert them to a standard format. And note to the type of function, if the type of problem is maximization, then we should convert it to a minimization problem by multiplication of f, the vector of coefficients, with minus 1. So the maximization of this value is equivalent to minimization of minus x1 minus x2 divided by 3. So we always convert this uh, problem into a minimization problem. Okay, let's write the equations here x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 2, but x1 plus x2 is greater than or equal to 1, and we must convert this to this format. And you know, if you multiply both sides of this inequality by minus 1, you'll get this format. So this equation equals to minus x1 minus x2 less than or equal to minus 1. And for the other constraints, we have this and we have this. This is exactly the same as this inequality and this is in the appropriate form and this must be converted minus x1 over 4 minus x2 less than or equal to 1. So we have six constraints here. Okay, let's define the matrices and find the solution of this problem. Let's clear the workspace and minus 1 and minus 1 over 3 is our vector of coefficients and let's write the coefficients here a equals to 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 okay 1 minus 1 and minus 1 why because we wrote this in this way and x2 is the beginning of inequality so that's it and 1 and 1 divided by 4 and minus 1 divided by 4 and minus 1 and we just define the coefficients of our inequalities and b is given by 2 minus 1 2 2 2 minus 1 2 2 1 and 1 and that's it so we are going to call the limb prog using f a and b and we'll get this solution that's two third four third and we have the solution and if we want get the value of function here we can get this value and the actual value of our objective function is 1.111 because we negated the objective function to convert it to a into a minimization problem and that's the original value of our objective function is 1.111 not minus 1.111 and 
that's it. However, for example, assume that we have this constraint that x1 is an integer. And for example, let's add this constraint too. And x1 must be an integer. In this case, we must use another function called int lin proc. And that's almost the same as the lin proc. However, we have a second parameter here, int con, which is the indices of decision variables which should be integer. So here we pass one because our first decision variable is considered to be integer. So this is the solution in the linear programming or original linear programming. And we can use int lin proc and we specify that the first decision variable is integer and that's it. This function found the solution is one and zero here and the value of function is this. And if we want, we can specify the second decision variable to be integer. And you'll see that 0 0.75 is our first decision variable and the second one is one. And if we use the constraint of being integer for the x2, we'll get this solution. And finally, let's assume that both of these decision variables are integer and that's it. If both of them are considered to be integers, we'll get this function value. And you see that, for example, for this case, the value of objective function is less than the previous case, this one. So it seems to be correct. And the algorithm found the integer and the mixed integer solutions successfully. Okay, let's try another example. And let's write the example here. For example, we want to minimize 5x1 minus 2x2, x1 minus 3 x2 uh, greater or equal to minus 14 and 4x1 minus x2 is greater than or equal to 33 and x1 minus 2x2 is less than or equal to 25 and given that x1 is positive and x2 is an integer and Let's find the solution here. We must convert the equations to standard format. However, we just do this example in mind without the right writing. And five and minus two are if, are the members of f, five and minus two. The a is because the direction of this inequality is not in standard format, we must multiply these two constraints by minus one. So a equals to minus one and three and minus four and one. And this is okay, one and minus two. And considering b, we have this 14 minus 33 and 25. And that's it. We can use lin proc. Okay, we have some lower bounds here to that can be stated as lower bound, and we have zero for both of them. And if we use lin proc, f a b e, and empty for quality constraints and lower bound, we'll get this. This is the non-integer solution of this problem. However, if we specify that the second decision variable must be integer, we'll get... Oh, sorry, we must have some mistakes here. Let's transpose this B to have this as a column vector. And okay, let's find the solution of this problem. F, A, B, and A equal and B equal are empty and lower bound. And we have this. This is the solution of our linear programming problem without the integer constraints. And if we call int lin proc 
and specify that the second decision variable is integer, we'll get this solution. The second variable is 8 and 10.25 is our first decision variable. However, in relaxed version, in real version, we have 8.0909 and 10.2727 as our solution. And adding the integer constraint for the second decision variable, we get this solution and that's it. We use the Entlin prog to solve a mixed integer linear programming problem. And once more, I recommend you to watch the other video tutorial of Yarpus on linear programming, which is a comprehensive one. And you can find more information on Linprog and linear programming and transportation problem on that video tutorial. Have a good time.